Doctors are now making e-calls. They're communicating with their patients through the internet. As you'll see in my special report, Las Vegas is a testing ground for a new service designed to improve the way doctors and their patients communicate. I type in my username and a password. If you wonder how healthcare may change in years to come, meet Dr. Victor Bruce. So I go ahead and click on Manage e-visits. And for him, the future is already at hand. Yeah, I prefer it to the pager and the cell phone going off whilst you're driving in your car. You can actually um, communicate with the patient a lot better. Bruce is both a pediatrician and board-certified internist. His practice, Swan Lake Medical Center, is the first in Las Vegas to test e-visits through an online health information service called WorldDoc. I have um, parents inquire a lot about fever or cough and colds, rash, and a lot of these minor things you can really deal with without an office visit. World Doc was developed by a group of local doctors from 20 different medical specialties. Creators say the service is on the brink of a major expansion. We think that World Doc and online decision tools will do for healthcare the same kind of thing that ATM windows did to banking. More than 90 percent of Americans want to be able to communicate with their doctor online. To use the site, you click on a diagram of the human body to indicate the location of your symptoms. World Doc then asks you a series of questions. Based on your answers, the site computes three possible treatment options. World Doc can be accessed by employees of the Orleans Hotel, either here at the terminal in their break room or at home. The information exchange is confidential, but employee surveys show that half of the Orleans 2400 employees use this as a research tool in conjunction with their regular doctor visits. E-visits are expected to be an even bigger hit. I, mean, I would do it, definitely, for something minor, for maybe just a little cold or maybe a little sore throat. Um, minor pain. I absolutely would because nowadays it's such a long wait at the doctor's office. Bruce says one reason World Doc works is because it is designed to ask the same questions he would during a standard office exam. By the time you've gone through all of them, you pretty much have a, a good uh, differential diagnosis. Patients say the site is thorough and easy to use. I, I liked it a lot. I did. It was easy to follow through and it's great. Employers like it in part because it saves money. E-visits cost about a third of regular office visits. But World Doc also gets good reviews for other reasons. And we feel that by providing World Doc to employees, they will be a more informed consumer. If they do not need to go to an emergency room or a doctor's visit, they can get the information over at World Doc. Uh, that will create room in our system for employees that do need to uh, see a doctor. Doctors see lots of benefits too. And I think it's going to cut back um, the number of phone calls that you get in the middle of um, taking care of other patients. And uh, it's going to overall translate into better care, cost saving, time saving. Dr. Bruce says so far e-visits save patients from making trips to his office in about 80% of the cases. He's able to answer most questions by email or by calling in prescription refills. He offers the service only to established patients. You can log on to KLASTV.com to check out the World Doc site for yourself. The company is providing the service for free for Channel 8 viewers. Individual subscriptions cost $100 a year.